dollar infrastructure plan, and there's big money going to build out a nationwide charging network. Let's get to Phil Lebeau with more on this. Phil. Melissa, when you look at what President Biden is proposing, a big chunk of the money of that $2.2 trillion is allocated for electric vehicle infrastructure. $174 billion, a good chunk of that will be outlined in consumer incentives for you and I to go out and then not buy a gas-powered vehicle, but an electric vehicle, also for the auto industry to make the conversion to build more electric vehicles. And there's also the plan to build 500,000 EV charging stations. You might be saying to yourself right now, well, that's great news for the EV charging stocks. And that's one reason why when you take a look at a couple of them today, we're talking about Blink and ChargePoint. Both of them moved higher on the expectation that they will benefit ultimately from this plan. By the way, the cost for an EV charging station, it depends on the level of the charging network and what they're doing, but it can be $10,000 to $15,000 per station. There are 41,000, approximately 41,000 EV charging sites. And remember, each site may have multiple charging ports, so you can have more than one vehicle at each site. Compare that with gas stations in this country. There are just over 145,000 of those. The expectation and what's driving all this for the Biden administration is that we see greater sales for electric vehicles between now and 2025. Last year, about 225,000 EVs, pure EVs, were sold in this country. It's expected to be more than a million by 2025. And by the way, that'll just be about 6%, 7% of the market. One last chart to take a look at, Tesla. And we're showing this to you because Tesla is expected to report its Q1 deliveries sometime in the next couple of days. And that happened when they reported, Melissa, the thing to be focused on, not necessarily what they did in Q1. We know that it'll be a record uh, quarter in terms of deliveries. What guidance do they give for the rest of this year? Because so far, they've been very vague about how many more vehicles compared to last year they expect to deliver. Phil, so may I ask a question, and that is, for the EV charging stations, are there universal ports for these cars or no? As I understand that each car has its own unique plug-in. So Generally speaking, uh -huh. well, you, there are certain vehicles, you cannot take a, a particular vehicle to a Tesla charging station and say, I'm gonna plug it in. I mean, you can, Generally speaking, at most of these, it's universal. In other words, you can, it, whether it's a Chevy Bolt mm -hmm. or whether it is another brand, uh, let's say going to an EV GO station, you can do that. So yeah, it, it, that's one of the things that people have said over time. You need to have these be universal. And that's where you're really gonna see the value of the benefit and the conversion take place in terms of uh, everybody saying, okay, I'm ready to buy an EV. All right, Phil, thanks. Have a good weekend. You're